Welcome back, thank you for joining us again. They're going to go through the second stage of the repair that we've already started in the first, the first video clip we've shown. And in actual fact, because the weather has been so good and so warm um, in early April, the, this went off in two hours. Rock hard, no problem at all, which shows you how quick you can do the, the stages. On a nice warm day, without moisture, without rain, you could actually almost complete the job in a, in a day. What we're going to do now is, with this gone off rock hard, I'm going to sand this down so it gets really, so it's really flush. And we're going to still use some quite coarse sandpaper, not on the 80 grit, but I'm going to use a combination of 150 and 240 grit sandpapers. Again, these are readily available. They're, they're uh, from the hardware stores or from um, online. So I'm just going to quickly just start knocking this off. It's quite aggressive. And yes, you will cause a lot of other scratches, but we we are not expecting to finish it, this job now. We are going to just get this nice and even and flush. The filler gel was done completely with the idea of filling up this area. It will be a slight, because we added in so much white filler powder, it's actually slightly changed the colour. It will be a slightly lighter finish. So we actually, um, it will still stand out a little bit, but the boat is protected now. You can actually sail the boat like this forevermore. It's not gonna to come to any harm, but cosmetic and aesthetically, it's not right. So we will do the next the next stage. You can sail the boat like this, no problem at all. And it's actually very easy to do this in the dinghy park in the spring, summer, where the temperatures are up and still keep sailing, which is the key for, the key for all of us. So what I'm going to do with the 150 is I'm really trying to knock off all the high spots uh, out of this. And again, emphasising from the previous one, you do not want to add too much um, filler gel onto here to it's so proud, because as you can tell, you're just going to have to rub it down and get it flush, and, uh, so it just takes a lot more time. Having used the 150 grit to really knock it flat, I'm just now going to with 240 just to actually make sure it's really smooth. So we blow it off. As you can see now, I've actually got that surface totally flush. There's, if you can still see a ridge, particularly use your finger to run across, if you can still feel any sort of ridge, carry on rubbing down until you've removed that ridge. If if it sometimes happens with filler, powder, filler gels, you've still got depressions, then you might well have to do a second thinner filler gel coat layer. But this has actually come out nice and flush, and I'm just gonna slightly dish it, a bit more rub, rub it down, just to slightly dish it, just to reduce the surface, ready, ready for the next coat, which is a thin, what we call finished gel coat, and exactly what it says on the tin, we're gonna try and finish after that. After that. This will be, exactly the right colour and we will get we will be able to get a good finish hot, uh, hidden. Now we're going to show you how we apply the finish gel onto this area. If you remember the very first clip we, we did the actual original gauge was about here and as you can see what we're going to do is do a much bigger area than you think. That means we're taking the finish gel out over onto gel coat that's totally unaffected and that's the secret of hiding the, the repair when we get down to final rubbing down, if we go through out on the outside, all that comes through is good unaffected gel and the eye cannot pick up the boundary at all. So we have slightly dished this area just to make it, just so that when we add the, fi the finished gel, it's not flush. Otherwise you'll end up rubbing it or all that finished gel off again or leaving it slight, slight lump. And this time, we're gonna, it's just gonna be the, the gel on its own, nothing, no filler powders added in at all. So we go, just gonna dish them out into my cup here, push it down into the bottom as much as possible. And as I said, this is very fluid. And again, we're just gonna add in some catalyst here, it's, it, just to remove the inhibitor that's stopping it going off in air. Just pour some into the cup, it makes it easier. 
um, couple of makes it easier to dispense, well, uh, to spend a lot at a time on just pouring so I mean as I said literally that was only about really five or six drops and that's all you need just mix that in make sure it's it gets right all into that gel just spend about 10-15 seconds doing this push the gel down off the side make so when you put your brush in you're not going to pick any off from the side as we can see that's very runny no filler powder in it at all this time okay so that will be exactly the right color if you're not sure what gel but color you, your boat is made from give us a shout we can actually help give you some guidance a lot of the manufacturers particularly rs ovingtons hartley's are very good about keeping records of what what um color gels they use on what boats laser is a bit more difficult but we can usually tell you by the number of the boat which gel gel to actually use again the brushes to use is important good quality you do not want the bristles falling out because that will come out into your gel and stay in there and that will actually make it very difficult to get a good finish also don't, don't have painted handles if you get resin or gel onto that you might dissolve it and the paint runs into your mix and this is no this is not rocket science this is just paint it on as you see I'm doing a really big area here I'm not worried I'm not actually restricting myself to where it was the original damage was I'm going out much beyond that and again what I don't want to have is is big ridges at, at the edge so I'm actually going to just dampen down those edges okay just so it means we don't spend too long having to rub those down and sometimes if you have a big thick ed, edge you will actually rub down so hard you actually go through the gel on the outside that you didn't want you didn't want to affect you don't have to overwork it this gel is going to go off with your brush lines in it um, and that you can't avoid that so just do that and just put nice even coverage on in the in this wonderful weather we've got here in this temperatures now that will be off in two hours I'll be able to come back later on this afternoon and do the next and do the final rubbing down to, to finish this off and we will go through through that in our next video thank you for listening to us I hope you found that useful please stay tuned we will release the uh, next stage how to rub that that finish gel down and make you a repair hidden in a perfect way that we can all achieve at home. Thank you. If you would like to know more about actually doing work on the boat at home and you would like to have a go, we also have got a little companion booklet on GRP repairing that covers everything I've just actually talked about and more. Um, it's laminated, it's small, you can have it beside you when you're trying, trying to do work at home. We can easy mail order it, it's £7.95 plus postage and packing and it's a, hopefully you'll find it very helpful. It has lots of pictures and photographs in there to show you, help you guide through, through it. For those of us that are really keen to have a go themselves and would like to have a bit more knowledge and, and confidence, we do run one day boat repair workshop courses. Of course we can only be able to start these again once this total crisis is over but it's a full on one day course, very hands on. We will take you through every single stage from glass fibre and quite significant damage right through to polishing and hiding the repair right at the very end. I said it's very hands on, you will do every single stage. It gives you the confidence to pick up um, tools and coarse sandpaper to prepare the surfaces properly, how to use the right materials and when and the different stages to go through. 95 pounds for the full day, including lunch and a copy of our booklet. As I said, once this is all over, we can actually run these on a pretty hard on basis quickly when you, when's appropriate for yourself. Um, and please have a go yourself. It will give you the confidence to actually repair boat yourself at home. Please all stay safe and let's enjoy saving when we get the chance.